everyone, welcome to Let's Be Honest Now. Um, my name is Stephanie and I'm here with Jocke and Nyla today. Um, our topic today is self-confidence in women um, within the church. Um, we're going to address different topics like makeup, hair, dressing, um, roles as women outside of church and inside of church as well. So I hope you enjoy. So since our topic is self-confidence, would you guys think the definition of self-confidence is? I think self-confidence is the ability to be you, the true you, in simple words, but then what is you, what makes you, who are we, yeah. what defines us, kind of thing. To add to that as well, I would say the ability to be able to be yourself in various situations mm-hmm. and various mm-hmm. circumstances mm-hmm. i think that's what real confidence is mm-hmm. that's when your confidence tested is tested anyway yeah. mm-hmm. when you're Definitely. in Definitely. Yeah. i agree i think as well like just you know like a lot of people get broken down by people's words and what mm. people do so being confident enough in who you are to say okay that's your opinion mm-hmm. about me but i know who i am kind of thing so yeah i agree with you guys mm-hmm. <laughs> glad we're on the same page <laughs> <laughs> but then yeah what what makes self-confidence that's what i don't know i feel like that's the next question when you, <laughs> when you understand who you are i think Mm-hmm. That's what gives you confidence. When you're like you said, when you know who you are, you know yeah. where whose you are. That's when you have you have confidence. I think. Yeah, but it's how do you understand who you are? That's the thing. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, because there's little, there's so many things that happen in today, like in today's day and age, is that the right thing to say? Yeah. In mm-hmm. our generation, such as um, people may say things that are offensive to to you, and you may. Uh, mold yourself around that shape yeah. yourself around that or um you may see something on tv and be like okay i want to be that and then you now become that person so that's not really you you're putting on another identity but it's like what how do you know who you are what makes self-confidence where does it come from kind of thing i hope i explained that well you did i think as christian women mm-hmm. it may seem as the cliche answer but i think it goes back simply back to god at the end of the day and mm-hmm. knowing that you know you're a daughter of god and god has created you that you're worth you're worth more than rubies you're fearfully and wonderfully made i think understanding who you are and that you're god's daughter will give you that's how how you get self-confidence i would say it seems like such a cliche yeah. but sometimes it is actually that simple mm-hmm. i don't know because i feel like it is that simple but let's be real like let's actually be real with ourselves okay what is self-confidence because that's not the first thing that we think about oh, so yeah. i'm thinking okay i'm feeling upset today or someone said something about me today um the oh, first wow. thing is wow. not right. okay god has made me i'm fearful i'm <laughs> made i'm made I'm, I'm better than rubies no like that's not the first thing that's going to come to my, my mind so it's like where does self-confidence come from like so but then i wouldn't say because so what you're trying to say is okay maybe it's based upon okay today i wore my eyebrows Today I wore my lashes. I'm confident. But then, do you realise that if we if we go back to our first definition of self confidence, mm. you realise that's not confidence in itself because that's circumstantial again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you can say, "Oh, I'm confident today because I got my lashes on," then you know what I mean. Like, then you. <laughs> this girl. I know. I know what you're saying. <laughs> like then that's not confidence, you know what I mean? Mm. But I hear what you're saying, the practicalities of it, like what actually makes you confident. Mm. But I think that kind of thing is temporal, but what will remain is when you when your confidence is rooted in God. And mm-hmm. listen, it's true. not that easy. I can, I'm, I'm saying, and I'm yeah. learning myself, I can't say every day I, when I go about makeup, I'm <laughs> Mrs. Confident. No way. Nah. <laughs> No way at all. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think, like, even, like, when we're brought into the world and we're growing up, I think mm-hmm. even, like, the people you're around and yeah. how um, you're treated, like, let's say, like, with my family, my mum is constantly telling us, no, you're beautiful, you're this, mm-hmm. you're that. And for people that don't have that, it may seem so much harder for them to accept that, mm-hmm. you know, situations you go through. But I I really agree with what Jocker says that, the word of God should be our foundation for that, mm. like who we are, because okay. everything else is things that are added onto us, kind of thing. But um, what God says is, do you know what I mean? It's final, final. final. Mm-hmm. Like Definitely. we're talking about creator of all things, creator mm. of you yourself, like everything you look like or whatever. Mm. Like 
yeah, like what you may eat may put on a bit of weight, like, but the, you know, the foundation of what you are is created by God. So, yeah, I agree with Jock's, like. Yeah. So then why is it that so many people lack self-confidence, so many Christian females, mm. so many Christian males, like, we have the foundation of knowing, okay, we were fearfully and wonderfully made, that God is our Father, we can call on Him for so many things, but why is it that as Christians today, we still lack that confidence? What's happening? Like, what's going wrong? Um, <laughs> I think because we are in this world yeah. every single day we yeah. have to that's the thing that's why you think you can read the word for a day one day a week you think that word will carry you throughout the even the, the day we'll even carry you throughout the day let alone the year like every day we step out we are being slapped in the face with images of this is how we should look this is how we should talk this is how so yeah. it's a thing where we have to continually fight that battle like fight the good fight of faith like continuously and if you ain't continuously doing it Come on, we're human. Mm. We're gonna fall and say I'm, you know, not confident at the end of the day. I think. I agree. Like I, like I said before, like how the world receives us is how we take everything in. Mm. Like, like Jocko says, you go out and you see a picture of like Beyonce and, you know, I was gonna say Christina Aguilera. I don't even know what she looks <laughs> like right now. <laughs> but <laughs> you see, <laughs> like. <laughs> I had to become like moving out there, but you see, like you know, they all like they're beautiful in their own way, mm. like. But then we society presents them to us and we idolize them and we think, oh That's my right. god, like she looks perfect. Looking like her caramel skin, and mm. we get light and cream and we rub it on our hands, looking black as charcoal <laughs> knuckles. Like, it's just <laughs> ridiculous, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and it's sad because like even like you know even when I was going to school, like you hear people saying little things like. Uh, why does your hair look like that? Or da 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 da, and it's sad because mm. like that's the world we're living in. Mm. But like Jocko said, every if you go back to the, I'm telling you, girls out there, it's not easy. Let me tell you that. Like all of us are still struggling with our confidence. Like, but day by day, like Jocko said, if you constantly feed yourself with the word and you're constantly um, pushing yourself to understand how God sees you and not that's how right. you see yourself, right. you will get there. One day you'll get there. Like there were so many powerful women of God, even men that will be like, this is where I was, but now you can't tell me nothing because it, I'm standing it. with God. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it may seem like a cliche, but it's it's what's real. Like simplest form. Simplest form. <laughs> so everything from everything that we said is basically like confidence is something that we have to continuously That's work it. on. That's like because obviously from what Jocker said, we have to read our word daily. We have to feed ourselves daily because it's not a thing that we can just be like, okay, I decide and want to be confident today because mm-hmm. we do get attacked daily we do see images yeah. on billboards we do see um i don't know guys that as well it's like guys. Guys. <laughs> it as well they so it's, tell us. it is a daily battle so it's just encouragement to ladies as well females read your word continue yeah. to read your word that's daily it. and just continue to feed yourself because that's how confidence will begin to build it's not something that we can wear on our shoulders and just be like yes i'm confident today but it's something that will evolve we will learn something new about ourselves every single day and i think yeah that's what it is reading like that's what you said mm. reading the word continuously and stuff like that i was even going to say one thing like you know with the world we're in one person would like the way you look today mm-hmm. another person would be like Found, That's it. you look ugly That's it. and it's like oh, you yeah. can't please yeah. nobody yeah. in this world let me tell you you cannot please 100 people at the same time there may be 99 people that say you look beautiful and that one person that says you look ugly will kill you if you're not strong enough in yourself like yeah. only one person doesn't change who is what he says and that's god like god will never say oh you know what i created you but now today you look ugly god no <laughs> like yeah. that's what i can say like god doesn't like he doesn't like go up and down he doesn't change his moods he created you beautiful even when like you know we say oh we're not interested in god no more whatever god doesn't say okay i'm gonna put a spot on your forehead or i'm gonna make you dark old do you know what i mean like whatever it is god is perfect (laughs) (laughs) but yeah like our confidence really should stem from god like the girls have said so yeah and understanding god understanding yourself and knowing your preference because like what you said like 99 people may be like you're beautiful and that one person says you're ugly but if you keep on changing yourself to what people say then 
but God knows what we will look like. Lord knows what some females walking outside. <laughs> God help. But yeah, it's true. Yeah. So the thing is, some females are walking outside because they're responding to what. Pe- <laughs> <laughs> let's be real. Okay, some yeah, people. Are, yeah, some yeah. people. So let's be honest. Let's be honest. You now. look the way you look now because what someone said. That's some people, isn't it? Mm. YouTube videos, tutorial. Yep, listen to what someone said. <laughs> Which isn't always bad. Yeah, it's no. It's, it's I, not. Use I, that I use YouTube. I use YouTube videos. I I use it. This hair was from YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. No, so it's not always where like don't let your confidence stem yeah. from that. Mm. Don't be obsessed about it. Don't do it for it religiously. That kind of. It's true.